This is actually a really fun assignment that you're going to see. So what you have is a meal preparation assignment. And since you all have to make meals at your home, they just need to be adapted to um, this assignment. So it is fun. Yes, you do need to look after preparing your own meal. So you can include your children if you have children to do that or um, see who else you can involve in your family. But what you're going to do is you're going to learn about safe meal prep. So making sure that everybody washes hands and does everything that needs to be properly done after you've done your food handling. Learning about culture and impact on diet, medical conditions and the impact on diet, and learning principles for pleasurable dining. So in this assignment, you will be pre preparing a meal for a person. So it will be your family, of course, or yourself, for a person with a medical condition and a different cult or and a different cultural or religion religious dietary practice. So we're going to review this assignment and you're going to see it's really quite fun. You'll see your case study meal preparation is here. So Samila, she's going to have to make a dinner for her family or for herself that would be appropriate for a 10 year old boy and has allergies to eggs, fish, dairy, nuts, has celiac disease and wants to treat, be, he wants um, his treats like any other normal 10 year old. So Ruth, you'll see she has a 62 year old female Muslim faith. She has ulcerated, ulcerated ulcerative colitis and is concerned about her restricting her diet as she cannot cook separate meals for her husband who loves spicy foods. So you'll see your um, assignment there but what you're going to do is is your rubric is here so you will see the rubric right here so you can see your rubric and look at all of the criteria that you'll be looking at. Also, there will be a rubric for posting threads. So we're going to look at the assignment and you'll see the rubric there and posting threads. So back to where we're going to go. And we're going to look at the, oh, you don't want to see that. That was all my case studies that I had made up. And get rid of that. And we're at the meal preparation assignment. So sorry about that. You don't want to see that. That was my, as I said, my case studies. So here it is. And you're going to see what we need to do here. So meal preparation assignment is here. And what you're going to do is you are going to research um, a special diet, as I said, you're able to understand the recommendations of the Canada's Food Guide and able to demonstrate knowledge of principles for pleasurable dining. We used to do this as a potluck. I'm sorry, due to COVID, we had to stop that. But you are provided, you'll see below, with a case study and you will have a specific cultural or medical condition and medical condition along possibly with a religion. You will explore the dietary requirements for a person with that condition and you will then prepare a balanced nutritious meal that meets the individual dietary requirements for the client. Be sure to follow the Canada's food guide and include beverages. Then you're going to prepare Google Slides presentation. First slide will be a brief description of a medical condition or the religion or whatever it may be. Um, and then you are going to prepare and present your chosen meal in an appeasing, aesthetically pleasing manner, taking the following factors into consideration. Appropriate portion size, um, attractiveness, table setting, seating, lighting, sound, room decor, food temperature, odors. And you may choose to use um, like dishes, tablecloths, napkins, um, and take one or more pictures of your meal as it's presented. And include these along with on the second slide, along with an explanation of why you choose this meal that you presented. Then you will type out your recipe in your own words, not copying and pasting, that will be included on the third slide of your Google presentation. The recipe should be clear, logical sequence, and communicated in language that's easy to follow by everyone. All necessary instructions and ingredients should be included. Post your Google slide presentation to the meal presentation discussion board. The rubric, as I said, 
can be found in the discussion form. And then you must view the meal presentations of your classmates commenting meaningful on at least two other spots. You will see that there is a um, rubric for that also that you will see. View the material presentations or, oh, and have to post on at least two others. As always, be sure to include all references. Remember, plagiarism includes the use of ideas of others in addition to copying words of another without giving credit to your original source. So it's a really fun assignment. <clears throat> so you have to cook anyway or provide a meal for your family, and it's an excellent way to do that. And then once you're viewing other people's with the recipes there, you may want to snag some of those recipes and keep them for yourself. So that is the assignment. It is due on October 3rd, you will see. And yeah, October 3rd, I believe, but I can check that back. And um, here are your case studies. If you have any questions, you'll have to email me regarding that.